Second video of the 450L. Gonna do just a few small things. Uh, guess I'll go over what I've done to this bike. Almost all stock, other than you saw in the last video with the new chain, remove the plastic engine covers. I did put my R case saver on there. Threw some light hand guards on there, mostly to block the wind. I went with these ones just because they didn't take up a lot of room on the handlebars. They're nice and light. So mounting was easy as far as finding room on the handlebars. Also, going to get the banjo bolt uh, brake sensor for the brake light, move it into here, get rid of all this. So I'll clean that up. And also I'm going to eliminate the kickstand sensor so the bike can start the kickstand down. It'll clean up some of this. If this ever gets damaged, you can have an issue with it starting. So get the first thing I'm gonna do is pull the rear wheel off, get it out of the way, slide the chain out of the way, and grind those tabs off and then start sanding. Hopefully it comes out pretty good. I'm a little nervous, but hopefully it'll at least look better than the two tabs just sitting on there. Got the tabs cut off, still gonna have to grind them down here. I did actually take the chain off, I didn't think about it at the time, but I was getting a lot of aluminum material on the chain, so I took it off and cleaned all that off the chain so it doesn't uh, harm the chain or the O-rings anywhere. So go ahead and keep grinding these down a little bit and then start sanding. Got the front one ground all the way off and sanded down. Looks pretty good, it's just a little bit lighter colored. Needs a bit more sanding. Go ahead and get the rear off. done my phone died so I missed a lot of pretty much just sanding turned out pretty good it's kind of hard to tell it's a little more glossy I scotch right at the top of it quite a bit but overall looks pretty good so once you grind them off it's just a lot of sanding to get it even and smooth is the hardest part and then once I did that I just tried to Use a SOS Scotch Bright pad to try to even it up so it matches the swing rest of the swing arm. So turned out really good. So I actually did this real quick. My phone was charging, but eliminated the kickstand sensor. So basically the kind of mechanism is here. Uh, I took the two bolts to guard off. I actually used one of the short bolts and just put it in here so it looks cleaner. There's a bolt that went in there. Uh, then it runs up to a bracket here. I actually ground the two tabs off on the bracket so it's just a little bit cleaner. Put the bolts back in and then unbolted on the back side of the frame. There's another bracket here, eight millimeter unbolted. And put the bypass, if you can see it up in there. Kind of hard to see, but it's right, right up there. So, all right, so these are all the parts I removed, the sensor, the harness up to the plug-in, 
the bracket, a wire tie, and the bolts. This is the hydraulic brake switch conversion for the 450L from AP3 Racing. Nice stuff, nice connections, nice banjo bolt, comes with new washers and everything. So this will be a lot nicer and clean up. If you're looking for some parts for your L, check out these guys. They're out of Idaho, Boise, so it only took me uh, about two days to get it. Okay, installing the brake switch conversion. Um, need a 7, an 8, 12, and then you got to bleed the brakes after. So you want some brake fluid and 8 on there. Bleeding the brakes is fairly simple. I probably won't show that part. But there's two 8 uh, millimeter bolts that hold this bracket on. And then I already unplugged it. It's hard to see, but you can see where it's unplugged through there. That's where the sensor plugs in. So I'll go ahead and I'll get this out of the way and then I'll pull this banjo bolt out and put the new sensor in and plug it in and then bleed the brakes. Just like that, got the hydraulic switch conversion. So, banjo bolt. I actually uh, just lightly zip tied it to the zip tied it to the brake line, so it didn't uh, flop around. It's a little bit longer than it probably needs to be, but better than being too short. So, works no problem. That's it for the L for now. It might be a while till there's another video on the L. Don't have too much going on with it right now and got a ton of other stuff going on. So, be back with it eventually. Try to finish this first. Thanks for watching.